What's up, Guam? Dave Delgado here for KUAM Sports. Thanks for watching in studio Tony Diaz and Rafina Mendiola to talk about the first sling competition. Uh, first off, let's get right to it. How can students register and who should they contact for this upcoming event? Well, at the schools that the students are at, their, their liaison is the Chamorro teachers. Um, that's how they can actually inquire on how to join the team and what documentation is needed. And how many schools do you have currently registered? Uh, so far, uh, we have boiled it down to five students that represent the school, each school. So a team of five per school. And 14 schools already have shown interest? That's right. Yeah. And uh, when and where would this event be taking place? This event is going to take place at the Raider Field in Barragata. Yeah. And it's on the 27th of April at 9.30 a.m. And dealing start with... Time dealing with so many kids you guys are looking for sponsors and reaching out to anybody yes, that we wants sure to help. are and we would really appreciate it you know if whatever help we could get um, with the business community and what have you out there that is willing to step up and uh, help the kids actually and mainly for the safety reasons um, uh, safety nets are really required for this type of uh, event if you can imagine. And how can they go about making a donation or helping out uh, information? Well, you know, they can contact me at 689-6011 and we can coordinate from there. And I'll let them know the list of uh, logistics that we, we have available that you know they could choose from. And you guys introduced this as part of uh, tomorrow month activities with the school. And how has the response been with the students? Well, um, this is the first time ever that we have this uh, competition. And it's part of our standard curriculum uh, in our, in our uh, standards, which is not limited to. So when Senor Diaz uh, approached me with that type of skill, it's part of our skill from our great, great, great uh, grandparents. And uh, certainly we wanted to put it as part of our, our for the year. This is second tomorrow. And uh, every month since November, we have started something, an event. So this year we wanted to, it was supposed to be in March, but it was um, overlapping the other events. So mm -hmm. we wanted to make, make, make sure that it's specifically uh, if that month, which is April, just for the slinging. Um, there's a lot of interest within just the teachers ourselves. We have 139 teachers altogether throughout the school. And uh, uh, Senor here did the history on um, where it came from and how he's able to, uh, and he's been doing it in his classroom since the past two years, 2016. Yes, yeah, since two, And I have observed his class and they were engaging. The, the, he taught it in the classroom and then he brought the kids outside to do the activity. It's, it's awesome, and I'm, I'm looking forward to this event. And the long-term goal eventually is to spread it out throughout the community and maybe one day have it as part of the Micronesian Games you were talking about. Absolutely, yeah, that's the intention. That's how the, we can have the children track into the sport. Hopefully we can make it a sport before then and have it introduced into Micronesian Games because Guam is not the only one that actually used the sling. Um, there's other Micronesian islands, too, that also... Had, um, had used the sling for various reasons, pretty much the same as ours. And uh, the, the kids could actually look forward to something um, that's actually a sport in the Micronesian Games to be introduced in the future. Yeah.